What's up guys? Today we're going to go over a couple battleground tips you probably haven't heard of. Let's get started. How to unstuck your car. Alright? Have you ever had one of those embarrassing moments? You pick up all your friends, everybody's inside, geared out, ready to rock and roll, you're driving to the circle. You hit a pothole and you flip your fucking vehicle in front of everyone. People are pissed off, no one really says shit. Everyone gets out, you see them running away, you know in the back of their minds that they think you're a shameful bastard. Now, here is a solution to that problem. Here's a tutorial to help all of you in need. Basically, this is how it works. You flip your car, you got a grenade, you look at the roof of your car, like so. You throw the grenade to land right at the front driver's side window. BAM! The grenade blows up, flips the car over. You are now unstuck. You are now the savior. You saved the group. You're the highlight of the evening. You're the man of the hour. Now get back in that car and get to work. It is now. <laughs> <laughs> this next tip's for parachuting. You can land on just about any building in PUBG. My favorite's at the airport. The early Soviet era radar detection system landing on the satellite array. So I'm going to show you how to land on that. So basically it's very simple. There's two parts to the scaffolding. There's the base and there's the top part where you land, run across the top and get all the fat loot. Now landing at the scaffolding is good for a variety of different reasons. Early game, especially if you're swamped out of all the other locations that you usually like to go like the K building in Sosnovska or the barracks buildings across the airport or alternatively the ATC. So landing on the scaffolding gives you a variety of different options in terms of where you want to make plays from, also giving you a bird's eye view of all the competitors in the area with a good amount of loot to go with it, usually a primary weapon system with an optic. So anyway, let's get to it. Landing on the scaffolding, very simple. You can uh, parachute anywhere you want out of the plane, pretty much heading toward, directly towards the airport. Once you get about a couple hundred meters above the scaffolding itself, uh, you're going to want to position yourself in a way where you're going to be coming straight on with the top metal portion that runs along the top side of the scaffolding. You see here in the video, as I'm coming in, I'm lining myself up, getting myself positioned near the middle of the top, and all you have to do is go straight in. Land in the middle of the scaffolding portion, push forward, slide straight down, collect your loot, get to work. So a lot of us that play PUBG know there's a fair bit of controversy surrounding the third person option. People saying that uh, it should be first person only, it should be played in hardcore because having a third person vantage point of the map uh, takes away from strategic gameplay, moving, traversing the map. I'm moving CQB through tight quarters combat, running into stalemates where there's one guy looking at another guy on the other side of the wall, or just someone just moving, being completely blindsided by someone that has an angle from a position where they can third person and just keep you on them for the entire time. What a lot of people don't realize is that your camera actually has collision in game with objects. An example of this is if you walk up to a window and you try to use a third person to look around, you can only have a limited view. If you break the window, you can actually extend your camera using Q or E outside of the window, thus getting a better vantage point using third person on your surroundings. Let me know what you guys think about the third person dilemma, whether or not the game should be played in uh, first person or third person. Let me know in the comments down below. Most of you guys that play PUBG probably already know about the tab looting method. What you probably don't know is even with the recent buff on the F looting, tab looting is still far superior because of the ability it gives you to move around the room, picking up the loot, reloading at the same time, and with your primary weapon system in your hand while tab looting, all the attachments you put in your inventory will be automatically placed on your weapon if there isn't already an attachment in that slot. One of the biggest benefits is you don't have to wait for each individual item. Drag it in and move on. It'll be in your bag if you have the room. By the time you pressed F and waited for the animation to play, I'm already gone. I've watched and played with enough people that don't seem to realize or know why their teammates are bleeding out so fast, find it hard to gauge how long it takes for them to get to their partner and pick them up, and a lot of times, they end up getting there too late. The fact is, the damage increases incrementally the more times that you're knocked down. Every time you're knocked out, you bleed out a little bit faster. The damage over time for bleeding out happens once per second. If you get knocked out nine times, you die within four ticks after being knocked out. Alright guys, bonus tip of the day. 
If you're being shot in the face, move your fucking head, mate. You can't. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button. If I get up to 100 likes, I'll keep pumping out more of this content. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think are your favorite Battleground moments, your secret tips and tricks, things that uh, you think are sort of low-key.